Yeah. Oh. They got it going on, don't they? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, yes, and let's talk about that song that they were busy with. Um, somebody in this group, as a matter of fact, a couple people in this group didn't really love that song. <laughs> you did your homework, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> we had a big fight about that song and it won a Grammy for us. Uh, it had been out on a group called The Undisputed Truth. Same producer, same musician, same studio. Norman Whitfield. Norman Whitfield, and it didn't do very well, and then he cut it on us the next year, and we wanted a love song. <laughs> we wanted a love song, and, uh, and so we had a big fight about it. Uh, they won out, thank goodness, and uh, the rest was history. But we did get the love song. The next record was Just My Imagination. I heard of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what I noticed uh, during their performance? That gentleman there, and I know him from the road, Many years. That's Charlie yeah. Atkins. Pops. Yes, the foot. Yeah. The yeah. We love him. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Stand Stand up, up, Pop. Pop. Take a bow. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. That is. That is. Well, see, that uh. explains the story. Um, he is one of the most incredible choreographers of our day. That's true. And any day. Yes. And, and, and I've, see, I've seen him get on y'all's case. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, when he say, I want the hand here, he want every hand there. That's right. right. Yeah. You know, and while you all were performing, this is what he was like. He was like this. <laughs> yeah. We know it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Take a note. He takes notes on it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. like you all were kids doing your first talent show. He was like. Yeah, we'll hear about it. <laughs> we'll hear about it in the dressing room when we get up there. We'll hear about it. Who's the best dancer? Charlie Atkin. Charlie Atkin. <laughs> Cole and Atkins. Seriously. <laughs> Tell me, who have you had the most problems with as far as choreography goes? How many is in the group? Uh-oh. Oh. He said, how many is oh. in the group? Oh, five of them. Yeah, for the last two weeks, we've been in rehearsal with him. Yeah. For our next single that's coming out the 25th of this month. And uh, we call he's him the fire. foot because he's been having it right there in our backside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, front side, top side, and bottom side. <laughs> yeah. How you feeling, man? I'm glad that you're here and healthy. I feel great. Yeah. There's nothing but prayer. Prayer has brought me a mighty long way. Like you said, I certainly have God in my life. Yeah, it's very important. Very, very important. Uh, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of the times that, that, that we used to spend together and when I was the opening act. I think everybody here present has split their pants in some city. <laughs> That's true. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know what, uh -oh. as a matter of fact, during the reunion tour when they brought all the Temptations back together, I was out with you all and Eddie Kendricks and David Ruffin were there. And you know, I think, and, and it'll give us a transition to talk about David, but David was the only one I'd never seen split his pants. That's true because he was so thin. He so thin. <laughs> he had nothing to split with. Yeah. Nothing back then. Might, his knees might have cut the scene. He's going to split no pants. If somebody say a few words about David, he's no longer with us. That's true. You know, uh, David is, you know, he was a very integral part of the Temptations. Uh, he was noted for his dropping to his knees and sawing the mic up and as the mic would come down he would catch it and sing and also he was a very unique individual and uh we lost him last june but we kind of you know saw it coming on and uh, it was just a sad thing to hear we were in uh, las vegas at the hilton and we got a call that morning that ruffin had passed and we missed him and every show that we've been doing ever since then we dedicate to him because uh, we missed him as well as paul williams and uh, what else can I say that he was one of the great ones that is no longer with us? You no, know, I like to believe that uh, whenever you see a well choreographed, good singing group, young group coming along like Boys to Men and other groups of that type, that the spirit of David Ruffin will never die because he influenced so many great singers in this world. But that's it. That's my out. I'll be right back with more Temptation. You know, along with the good times, there have been some tough times. Um, I remember a story about Kentucky, when you and the Four Tops, I guess, were together. 
And I guess there were some problems. I guess there were problems many places. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think the time that you're speaking of, we were on some one-nighters. And it was back during the 60s. And we had just finished doing a, a concert date there. So we were back loading the bus. And some guys drove by and shot at us. And uh, all of us fell to the ground. And as soon as they drove off, we got on the bus. And you talking about more guns coming off that bus? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was so many guns on that bus. But uh, that's just one of many. I mean, we had a lot of weird yeah, incidents. And that same around. night, we had to, while the four chops were on stage performing, we were standing on, in the wings with bats and whatever we could find. And when we Jerry. came on, uh, they were on the wings, in the wings, you know, with uh, bats, guns, and what have you, because uh, it was kind of rough. So we really have gone through some changes, and we're here to tell you about it. Yeah. What song means the most of the entire repertoire, Richard? To me personally or to... Yeah, to you. I don't know. 